Okay, I'd like to show you uh, how I would design uh, and mill something using uh, the MDX15 and Rhino software. I have to make this for a customer. Uh, it's what he wanted, and we're going to divide this piece up into five different sections uh, for a uh, family type of pendant. Now, I'm going to show you how I actually went about making this pendant. I'm going to cut this here, first of all. So I took my stones and I laid them out. I'll tell you what, we'll just do this real quick for you. I don't want to make this a rhino uh, tutorial or anything, but uh, I'll do this quick for us because it don't take too long. I had one three and a half millimeter stone and a 30 millimeter circle. Uh, placed this about where I wanted it according to my design. Then I would come over here and uh, do a polar array from the center. It's 13 stones, and we're going to go 360. Oops, and I'll undo that because it was not in the right viewport. Uh, right click, center polar array, 13, and there we go. So, I actually laid out my design after I got that far. And I'll just uh, hide these for a minute. And I. Uh, Drew up my a profile, what I thought this rail was going to look like, this piece. Designed that up the way I wanted it. Now, I'll take that and I'll do a one rail sweep with the circle and my pattern design there. Select OK. I'm going to do this real quick, clean up just a little bit. Let me now there's my stones brought in and I want to there's my lines I have to cut this thing into it's what he wants but as you can see I'm set with my channels and my outer design and everything all at once there now I want to decorate it up just a little bit so I, I put in some little circles there little beads just uh give it a little bit of design and then I'm going to cut I'm not going to cut the holes out for the gemstones but I'll put a, a little bit in there uh, I don't want to waste the mill time cutting holes I'll drill those in by hand so what I want to do I'm going to hide these for a minute and show you how I did this so this will let you know I have some just I want to cut little divots in there all right and I'm going to hide these stones for a minute. I put those little divots where I wanted them. Now, let me uh, ungroup these things. So I want to show you something here. Let's say you had a lot of pieces. These are on the red layer, and you had a lot of things in there, and you wanted to grab all these items that are on that red layer, or the red color, whatever color, just that you choose to make them. I'm going to go up here to select and pick the color, and I'm going to pick that red one right click now they're all highlighted I'll come over here and I'll group them so now I can pick them all at once I'll take those and I'll put on different them then I can grab them all at once there because they're grouped and there's my little divots for my stones I'll bring back in my stones and I'll bring back in my little embellishment pieces again I'm going to be cutting those on those lines right there so that's why they're missing there all right now let's get ready to uh, I'm gonna bring this up here a little bit might as well bring it up to the Z plane a little bit ground zero there it's close enough I'm going to take my stones and hide them that's what I have. It looks funny. Now I'm going to highlight all this. And since we're milling, we don't have to uh, join our Boolean union or anything. But I'm going to just export it now. Export selected. And I'll just put it in my desktop and I'll save it as uh, circle. Circle. I don't know if it's misspelled, but that's okay. And we'll save it as an STL file. And I'll save it. These numbers will come up. Uh, 
say OK. And I'll say OK. And it says it's written. And I'll go over here. See what we're going to find. Here it is. Now let's open this up and we're going to be milling this in Modella Player 4. So I'll open it up in Modella Player 4 here. This is just going to be a straight one-sided milling job. And let me show you how we do it. And there's our model in Modelo Player 4. Ready for milling. Go over here first of all, let's just double check everything. There's our model size. Three and a half, or almost four millimeters, 3.9 deep. Uh, if you want, you can change the origin to center. It's fine. You want okay now I'm gonna go over to here my margins and I'm gonna go manual and I just want to go with a two millimeter margin and everything else I just I don't need to go into right now and we've got that now let's pick our new process we're gonna go straight to the finish straight to the finish path I'm gonna hit next next and I'm going to actually I'm going to have to go back and find another uh, probably what I'll do is uh, let's see this one I might have to actually put this on another uh, computer and let me see if I've got one I got a 0.2 millimeter conical we'll just use that for right now but I might change it up uh, when I go to my other computer and actually run this program. So I'll go next and we'll just leave this all for right now. I'll go next. We're going to go X lines. I'll go next. Now this time uh, we're going to be cutting at about four millimeters so I'm just going to crank it up to the full speed. Z speed I'll make it 15 and uh, path interval 0.05 next and we're going to go finish and then while that waits I'll put it in a pause for a minute while we wait for the tool path okay we've got our tool path set in now I came into here and clicked this window open came up to our cutting position setup now I'm just gonna I'll do this for real on the other computer but let's just say I want to put this at uh, 30 and 30 There's 30 and 30, and that's where we'll start our milling from. But I might change it up when we get into there. It depends on where your wax is located at uh, in your machine. If, you, if your wax is over further, you might want to go over to uh, 60. All right, and adjust it however you want. The other thing is, you want to check your, uh, you always want to check. Your, and then uh, up and down, left and right. Make sure and move or spin, move your spindle, raise it however you feel like it, so you don't crash into anything. But just make sure you've got enough. Uh, you're covering uh, your wax area. You're going to be you have enough wax, excess wax, so you can mill, or that you're not going to hit anything. So anyway, I'm going to go to Z direction. Now the model was 3.99 or 3.9, something like that. Let's just call it four. Let's say I start with a wax of uh, six millimeters, okay? So I'm going to put in two here, I'll enter two, and let's go back here a second. I enter two right there, and what's going to happen is it's going to start, it's going to cut into the model, into the wax, two millimeters before it actually cuts in. Uh, you know what? I should have left that where it was at. I'm sorry. Uh, hang on just a second. Let me cancel that and go back here. I'm sorry. I hit my Z direction. I think that was one millimeter. I forget what it was. But anyway, I'm going to type in two here. And then, let me look 
at that again. What's going to happen is it's going to start right there. It's going to go in two millimeters deep, and then it's going to cut, start cutting the model. So you put in here, top model edge, type in two millimeters because it's a six millimeter wax, and then it's going to cut down two millimeters, and then it's going to start cutting. Okay, then we will go from there and we'll cut the, uh, I'll stop it here, I'll go over to my other computer and we'll mill it out. Okay, what I'd like to do is we're going to start milling on the MDX-15, right there, Rollins. Now what I did to explain this, we're just going to do it uh, flat milling. We have our base plate here, and then I made a sacrificial, what we call a sacrificial wax slab, right here. I just glued that onto the, super glued it. Then I take a piece of masking tape, and I put that on top of my wax, superficial wax. Now I take my wax slab, the actual wax slab measured six and a half millimeters, so I put it on here with super glue so onto the tape, and then I mark a little center point where I actually want my, my model to start. Now I'm going to bring my uh, mill in. I already located it on the mill uh, using the uh, XYZ setting, so I know where I want to be. And uh, let me just go to it a second. And uh, we'll go to where we want to be. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that the, the uh, tool bit is not touching the, the wax. So what do I do? I get over there, and then I'll just bring it in to try and show you. I'll loosen this and just let it fall and hit the, the wax and tighten it back up. Now, we're ready to start milling. My wax lab uh, was six and a half. The model is uh, two point, or the model is 3.99, about six and a half. I just guessed a little bit in my uh, offset there, so I put it in about 2.3 millimeters. So it's going to cut down 2.3 millimeters before it actually starts the, uh, the, the modeling of the, the cutting of the actual model itself. So here we're going to go. And we'll see how we do. <laughs> so basically we're cutting in at about 6 millimeters. Deep. This is the finish pad. I'll set this right here for a minute. If I can balance it out there. Doing this by hand. Well, I don't know if I'll get it, but I'll try. Balance it. Not too good. Try that for a minute.
smoothly. Estimated time is 40 minutes on this piece. So, actually if I were to sped it up faster, I would have cut that time dramatically, but right now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cut the video and come back when it's done. Just for show though, this piece right here is about six and a half millimeters deep. That was all cut one pass, really. So we'll get back with you in a little bit. There's this baby finishes milling. Milling. And here it was coming out. Now all I gotta do is find my knife, wherever I put it. Well, I'll use my knife here. And we'll just pop that off of here, okay? Take my little knife. And ever so carefully we'll pop it because we don't have much on the back. So, you can see right there, we can break that out easy. And I'll clean that up. Oh, that should be my model. Maybe I'll take one more picture. Alright, MDX 15.